Sunday morning. It's Sunday, August 11th, I think. Um, yeah, August 11th, 10.33 a.m. We're all upstairs surfing and stuff. I'm getting ready to take some more headphones apart and edit last week's vlog, I think. I'm just having sort of a lazy lay-in. I need to do laundry, but it'll still be there tomorrow, maybe. I need to strip the two beds up here and wash the sheets and also the towels in the bathroom, so that's a thing. Anyway, that's all I'm up to today. What are you all up to today? All right, I'll be back. So excited. So since I moved in, I've had this window above the sewing table that hasn't had a screen on it, so I can't open the window because then bugs will come in and we're next to the forest and I don't know if you all remember if you watched the moving diaries, but we had Steve, my friendly neighborhood hobo spider, who used to live outside this window. I don't know where he went to, but he's not there anymore. Anyways, um, so I couldn't open the window. Hobo spiders are kind of poisonous, just FYI. I'm allergic to arachnid venom. Fun fact. Anyways, I'm so excited. Hubby got the screen on. Yay! He, he's the man today. So now I can open the window, I can get the fresh air in, and a breeze. I have all three windows open right now. It's a nice temperature outside, there's a little bit of a breeze. Yay, I love it. Made my day. All right, I'll be back. Morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, August 12th, I think. I don't know what time it is. I have no clue. Uh, around 9 o'clock, 9.30, somewhere in there. I'm getting a little bit of a later start getting upstairs this morning. Um, mostly because there's just nothing like being woken up a couple times between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. <laughs> by smoke alarms beeping because they're running out of battery <laughs> and not being able to figure out which one it is. <laughs> just, and you think you got it and then you go back to sleep. Just as soon as you get to sleep, it beeps again and you realize it was the wrong one. <laughs> so yeah, that was our night last night. I know I mentioned, I think I mentioned the smoke detectors in that earlier clip, didn't I? Uh, the fact that we had one going off last night uh, at the wee hours of the morning, uh, and it took us, um, it going off three times before we f figured out which one it was and replaced the batteries in the correct one. And we got, uh, we got only got up twice, but it went off three times. Anyway, the other thing that happened last night, as if that wasn't enough, was... We do live next to the woods. There's a uh, county owned wooded area between us and the elementary school next to us. I don't know, 25, 50 feet of woods. It's uh, pretty substantial. Uh, anyway, there's lots of wildlife in the woods. Deer, snakes, squirrels, skunks, <laughs> coyotes. So the skunks were an issue last night, and I didn't see one in the backyard, but I definitely smelled it somewhere close by, because I had the window open. Had to close the window. That was bad. So yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. We're gonna head out. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. I know it's 9.51 a.m. because I can see the clock. Uh, I think it's August 13th. Anyway, we're headed out to go run a couple of errands. Uh, a couple hours later than I wanted to do this, but I should right. say the other reason I got a late start this morning, besides the, all the phone calls, was I was uh, wrapped up in watching a couple episodes of Star Trek Enterprise with Scott Bakula from 2001. Um, we have DirecTV and we lost CBS, I don't know, a couple months ago now. And we're not getting it back anytime soon from what I understand. Anyway, um, so I got CBS All Access 
because there are some shows I, when I watch TV, I either watch General Hospital, which is on ABC, or I watch a couple of CBS shows. It's not common, but um, then I found out CBS All Access had a whole bunch of Star Trek series, including the old original, and I'm a huge Star Trek fan. What is your favorite original series Star Trek episode? For me, is the classic Trouble with Tribbles. Anyway, all right, that's it for the moment. Let's go get our errands done. Hey guys, it is still Tuesday. I'm in the office. I now know it actually is August 13th for sure. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, I put a little makeup on. Why? Because I just felt like it. It's just been a strange day. I don't know what to tell you. Um, sitting here up here in the office, I'm writing today's thoughts l way later than normal because it's almost one o'clock. While I'm doing that, I'm watching Star Trek Enterprise uh, from 2001, I think 2001, uh, where Scott Bakula is the captain of the Enterprise, the original Enterprise before Captain Pike. Um, anyway, I'm a big Star Trek fan. I already said that already, didn't I? Um, I'm going to be taking another electronic thing apart and I'm, I'll, I'll film some of it for you guys on the vlog here, but I have an old flip phone. Is it a Motorola? Uh, no, it's an LG, an old LG flip cell phone. Uh, this was my mother-in-law's phone. Uh, we got her a cell phone, uh, years back and she had this old flip phone until not long ago my brother-in-law got her a more modern phone um, and so she gave us this one back and I'm gonna take it apart um, which I've taken cell phones apart before so I'm gonna do that I don't know that I've taken a flip phone apart before so that'll be different but there's some fun things in there and if you can get the screen out whole the screen um, I have another one from another phone. I haven't made any art with it yet, but I mean, it's just like a little mirror, right? So anyway, it's a fun piece of glass. It'll be fun on a piece of art someday. And I'll add it to my drawer of technology parts. Anyway, I'm going to finish today's thoughts. I still have to write creative wanderings. I haven't made a paperclip yet, but it's just, you know, I'm having a lazy, slow, take my time day. Nothing wrong with that, right? All right, I'll be back. Wednesday morning, August 14th, I think. Um, I'm headed out again. <laughs> I uh, need to write the check to the recipient for the charity auction. I did finally find my checkbook, only to discover that the checks have two different old addresses on them and also um, one old bank. So back when the economy went bust, um, when was that? 2008? Maybe? Um, anyway, my little bank got bought out by, uh, went bust and got bought out by U.S. Bank. And U.S. Bank said, just keep using those old checks until you run out. My problem is I never ran out. I still have some of them. <laughs> and then I later on got some checks with from U.S. Bank printed with my 
current, more current stuff on them, and then those have the old address. So, yeah, and there's a bunch of stuff here in the checkbook. I don't even know what's all in here. Okay, there's we have our envelope going out to the family in need with the check inside, a set of the charity stencils as a gift, and of course a note. And so that'll be going out tomorrow. Um, I got another CD from the library that I was listening to and trying out, um, which I like. So I'm going to return that one tomorrow and pick up something else I have on hold. Um, and then I have this. So I painted a, a scrap piece of cheap watercolor paper with some acrylic paint. And then over the top of it I put black paint mixed with three different kinds of waxes or wax mediums. So I have DecoArts Cream Wax and Clear mixed with black paint, Dorland's Wax Medium, and Powertex Power Wax. Now, DecoArts Cream Wax is supposed to be something that you use as a finish coat over chalk paint. Dorland's Wax Medium is intended for use in encaustic applications and with oil paint. Powertex is supposed to be something similar to Dorland's Wax Medium or an oil paint's wax medium, only with Powertex, supposedly you can use it with acrylic paint. So I've mixed all of them with some black paint. I've smeared them on the paper, put some texture into them to see which one will hold, which one will um, give me a kind of a finish that I'm gonna like, which one's um, hopefully not gonna crack, how long they're gonna take to dry. I want to try using some wax medium with some paint in a canvas that I have a sting on the easel that I want to get back to work on. And But first I need to do some test patches because I need to know what I'm getting myself into. So we're gonna just let that dry. Today is Wednesday the 14th. And so I'm gonna make a notation of the day and date and time. And then I'm gonna just sit it on the shelf and we'll let it dry and we'll see how long it takes, how many days it takes to dry. I don't know. All right, I'll be back. If you're watching this clip you saw the clip where I started painting on that canvas again and I do like where it's going I finally was inspired to get some painting done on it but um, I'm talking to my husband about dinner while I'm chatting with y'all okay he's good with my plan for dinner um, <laughs> um, while I was cleaning up I broke one of my square glass water containers damn it <laughs> so I have two on the easel table, the painting table, and I only have one on the work table. I do have two sets. I know I'm spoiled a little bit, but I'm looking to see if I have something else I can use, so cross your fingers. Try a plastic milk carton. Yeah, let's Loads try. Loads of these. They're not recyclable, and it's a pain in the butt to go get the glass ones because they only sell them at one store around here, and it's like teeny tiny, so I have to buy like three of them just to make it through how much coffee we drink. It's just, I know, I know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if this fits and it's square, it'll fit inside there. And I'd rather, it's probably better if I make do with this, even though it's not as cute, um, rather than buy something new that I don't really need to spend the money on. 
It's not that I can't, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I have a lot of these. All right, let's see. Perfect fit. I just need to cut the top off. So you know what? Milk cartons, and they're not breakable. I love that, since my middle name is not Grace. It's like it was meant to be in there. You know, what is with me today? I walk by the table and knock a whole bunch of pencils over now. Holy no. cow. I went to go pick them up to put them back and knocked them over again and made a bigger mess. Cause you know, I think it's time to quit up here now for today, but I better empty the garbage cans before I go downstairs permanently and start working on dinner because all of them are full and one of them's full of glass. So that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, August 15th, maybe? I think it's the 15th. It's 8.59 a.m. according to the car clock, if that's accurate. Um, we are headed out to mail the charity check um, to the family in need. And because I'll be right across the street from it, I'm gonna pop into Safeway really quick. I doubt they're gonna have another one of those square vases that I broke yesterday, but we'll see. In the meantime, I got plenty of milk cartons, as I said already, so they'll work just fine. In fact, I'm... so here I am talking to the phone again. And, you know, camera's not on. So we're gonna go over to Safeway now. The check is on the way. This, the um, social media obligation for said check is done. I did it while I was here in the parking lot. Um, they should have the check. The family in need should have the check on Monday. So, so um, yeah, I just, <laughs> one of my fears, maybe an unreasonable one, is that they'll be insulted by the check. And I hope that's not the case because that was not definitely not our intention. And we just want to help, even if it's to get them a nice dinner out or whatever. It's not, I don't think it's enough to put a dent in any medical bills, but you never know, I guess.
afternoon. It is Friday, August 16th, 1.56 p.m. I don't get excited. Hello, you should know better by now. I'm in front of the computer. And hello, it is after lunch. Um, I've been up in the art room all day painting, which is why I didn't vlog. I've been working on the painting that's behind me. There you can see it back there. I didn't think I'd actually get it done today but I think it's finished and I'm pretty pleased with it so I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty pleased with it. My husband said, where are you going to hang it? I said, I don't know. I might keep it. It might be for sale. I don't know. If you're, if you're interested, message me. <laughs> anyway, um, I, I am pretty pleased with it and this is a big house. There's plenty of wall space. Um, but anyway, um, I'm gonna leave it sit there to dry for a little bit. I um, follow a bunch of different people on Facebook and social media, and one of my friends and art teacher, Pauline Agnew, um, was um, talking about a book um, on oil painting and oil painting mediums, which I actually ordered. Not that I paint in oil, I don't, I paint in acrylic, but I thought the information on it might be interesting and might. Um, it seems like a lot of it would, at least in theory, transfer, the techniques would transfer to acrylic. You're going to have to, I got I to gotta do this, you're going to have to um, switch up um, your processes a little bit because acrylic is not oil paint. But anyway, there's some good techniques in the book. I'll put the link for the book in the description below. Anyway, one of the uh, big focuses of the book is working with cold wax, which you generally can't use with um, acrylic it adds a lot of texture and transparency to the pigments and um, a certain sheen uh, but there is one kind of cold wax that you can add to acrylic paint so I've been playing with that and I'm playing with it on the canvas I gotta tell you I think I might be hooked um, I did do my experiment which you saw with the Dorland's um, and deco art and then the one that I found um, by uh, Powertex they're actually still not dry yet. I did the experiment on the 14th and the flat parts are dry, but the really high textured parts, they're still wet um, on both the Dorlins and the Powertex. So it takes a long time to dry, which I kind of expected. So I'm gonna keep you all posted in the vlog and let you know how long exactly it did take to dry and or social media. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun um, playing with paint and getting back to doing some painting, so yay. All right, that's it for the moment. We have a Friday, quiet Friday evening. Um, the kids aren't coming over until Sunday. I think we're gonna go out for an early dinner and go stop and check the P.O. box. Since I forgot to do it yesterday, <laughs> I was there mailing, ma sending off mail and anyway. <laughs> Um, and there is some boxes coming into that address, so yeah, that's a thing. All right, that's it for the moment. I am going to clean up, and I still have to make my paper clips, so I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. So I reset the easel with another blank canvas on it, so I'm ready to go there. I moved the one that's drying back here into different lighting. Let's see if we can get a good look. There we go. At so, oh, there we go. At some point when I'm painting, I put the reference photo away and I add what I think it need the composition needs because I'm not trying to copy the photograph. I'm just inspired by the photograph. So, you know, this is a um, inspirational photo uh, painting of that photo. So, yep, I added some purple, some red, some yellow and that yeah, really did a lot of good things for the painting. Plus, I don't know if you can see on camera how textured the painting is because I added that wax to the acrylic paint. Pauline, that's all your fault. I'm a big fan now, holy cow. Anyway, so I can't wait to do it again, but this one's gotta dry and then I need to sign it. Um, sometimes I sign the front, sometimes I sign the back. Um, and it's not because I'm ashamed to sign the front. I just feel like sometimes my signature interferes with the composition of the painting. So there you go. So on this one, I might sign the back. Um, 
And I don't know if still if I'm going to hang it up or if it's going to be for sale. I don't know. But if you're interested, message me. Um, we are going to go out to dinner and go check the P.O. box. And yeah, I'll be back. So that was Casa Colima. Colima. C O L. Colima. Colima. Like um, cute little mom and pop Mexican restaurant. Every time we drive by, their parking lot's full. Now that we've eaten there, I know why. Really good food, good service. And holy cow, if you're coming here, it's in Tualatin in Oregon. There's also one in Portland and one in Vancouver. I'll put their website below. If you're going, for God's sake, order the deep fried cheesecake. I know it sounds weird, but holy cow, just cold trust in me. The middle, crunchy on the outside. Yeah, crunchy on the outside, cold in the middle with whipped cream and cinnamon sugar. Wow, we need to go walking tonight now. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Afternoon. It's Saturday, August something, 17th? Anyway, I'm just getting out of the library. We've been to the grocery store. We've been to Costco. We're gonna go home and unload and then we have to go to the hardware store. So, fun times. All right, I'll be back. We're gonna go back out again after lunch. We've gotta to go to the hardware store. I was sorta of hoping he'd go without me, but I'm going with him. It's Saturday evening. What time is it? I don't even know. 5.53 p.m. dinner time. We gotta cook dinner. It has been a crazy, insane Saturday. Holy cow. So, um, I just now got a paper clip done and I got start of a new canvas done. I'll insert some pictures here of the new canvas I'm working on that I started. Um, really like where it's going already. I'm already looking at it going, how many more marks do I want to put on that? Because I kind of like where it is right now, but I'm sure I'll do more. Um, I have a pile of dirty things I need, now need to clean up. But yeah, it's been an insane day. We spent the afternoon doing some electrical around the house, putting up a new security camera, and um, I should be able to get some footage of the deer and other creatures that are coming. We did get some footage last night of uh, two raccoons climbing over the fence by my front door, which is pretty funny. I'm pretty sure they're raccoons anyway. Two raccoons. Oh. Evidently, that's what's been digging up my front and probably the backyard, so... Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, chatting with neighbors, running errands. It's just, it's been crazy a crazy day, but we got it all done, I think, and tomorrow we can just sit and relax. I wasn't sure I was going to get the paperclip done today or the... Canvas started today, but I did. Um, I do have an Etsy order that just came in, so I'm gonna have to at least pull that and print the packing slip before I go downstairs and shut everything off up here and clean up. <sighs> it's been a nutty week, and next week's not shaping up to be any calmer, so uh, yeah, anyway. I hope you've had a great week. I have, I, it's been a fun week. I got a canvas done, where is it? It's behind me, there it is. You see a peek of it over my shoulder. Um, and I started a new one, that's always a good week, right? Uh, next week's going to be great, I think. It's going to be busy, but good, and I hope it is for you, too. Um, I will leave any relevant links to, in, the, in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them here on the video. Um, if you check out the disc video description, um, relevant links will be there. My happy mail address is down there. There's a link that says Linktree and then my name. 
If you click on it, you're gonna get all the different places, a list of all the different places on the internet you can find me. My website, my Amazon affiliate store, um, my Etsy shop, the places to follow me on social media, all that stuff is all on there. Um, if you can and you would, I would appreciate you supporting the free content here on YouTube by checking out some of those affiliate links. Maybe join Patreon, go shop in my Etsy store, whatever works in your budget. Um, that's it for this week. I hope you all have had a good one. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. And do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.